we're back at the IT department homepage. <clears throat> and the next task we have for the IT department <clears throat> is to create a help desk ticket system. So that's going to be, that is going to be a custom list. So we'll add an app and we'll create another custom list. And we'll call this help desk tickets. Okay. So we want to do edit the list. And we want to call this, we're going to call this summary. Okay. And we're going to also put in another text column for description. We also want to put in a choice field, or I'm sorry, a lookup field for the asset. You're wondering why I made you make that silly list. Well, we're going to use assets and we're going to put the friendly name column in. And then we're also going to put the asset tag uh, on there as well. Okay. And we can, we should be able to rename this column. So there's that. We'll add a choice field for priority. We'll do low, medium, and high. And then we'll add a status choice field. Choice status. open on hold and close and we'll click OK and then we'll also add a multiple lines of text for tech uh, for notes click OK so now when we stop editing this list and we click new item this is going to be our ticket form and we're going to go pretty in-depth with this whole system uh, I've made a couple of these before so uh, I kind of have a good gist of where we're going to go with this so they can put in a summary, they can put in a description, which explains what the issue is. They can choose their asset, choose the priority, um, and then click save. Okay. And then we'll see Miranda's cell phone is the one that's got the issue. We can click on the asset number. We can see she's in the East building and it's her cell phone, obviously, because it's Miranda's cell. The status is open. So we'll delete this. Yeah, let's delete it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set this up to where um, what we really, really, really want to do uh, in, a, in an enterprise situation, you want to set this ticketing system up to where the users can only see their own tickets. So we'll create a view, standard view. We'll call this my tickets. It's going to be hard to show because, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I only have one user account to do this with. But you can see here, show all the items in this view, just blah, 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 blah. To filter based on a column on the current date or on the current user of the site, type bracket today, bracket, or bracket me, bracket. I don't know the name of it. So, so we'll choose to filter by created by where it's equal to and then we'll do bracket me bracket okay all right so this link right here is what we'll give to people so if I go to page edit we'll just do this submit a ticket and then we'll turn this into a link from address and we'll paste that view. So now when they go there and they click this, they're going to be taken directly to my tickets. Okay. There's another way you can do that, which is if you go to all items and you modify the view, or I'm sorry, you go to help desk tickets and you go to your list settings. And you go to you go to the advanced settings for the list, 
you're going to see this item level permissions read access which items users are allowed to read we want to say read items that were created by the user create and edit access specify which items user are allowed to create and edit create and edit all items no we want to create and edit items that were created by the user and we'll say okay so that means i can only edit even if i have the all items view i'm just going to see my own and then farm administrators or list admin per privileges um, we'll be able to see all of them and then you can actually go in and modify this view and we will we will group by let's group by status first and then group by created by so if I create a new item test test gem PC low open save and then I create another one that's test 2 test 2 it's the conference projector medium priority and it's on hold and I save it I'll see these two groupings I can see all the tickets created by a certain user it's a good way to track it and then also if I export to Excel I can view all these it'll send me that all of them in one big list and I can sort and filter them so that's our help desk ticket list so our next video is going to show us how to create an on-call schedule and then the one after that will build some workflows and then you'll be done with this course so you're pretty close stay tuned check out the next video and let me know if you need any help